Hello friends, in the previous video I showed you how to stick the cloth on the plywood. In this video I will be showing how to give the base coat. The things which we need are yellow oxide, fevicol, chalk powder, this I have soaked for one hour. You can soak for more time also. A spoon and a bowl. A brush to give the base coat. The plywood which we have prepared earlier, I have added the link in my description. Now add 2 scoops of chalk powder which we have soaked earlier. Yellow oxide, yellow oxide is available in different shades. Fevicol, here I have taken 2 is to 1 ratio and mix them together. Why are we soaking the chalk powder is to avoid lumps. The mixture should not be thick like a paste. It should be like a batter. If the mixture is thick, add half or a teaspoon of water to it. Damp the brush. Let's start applying. This is the first coat which I am applying. I am applying it in the vertical direction. And the whole board has to be covered evenly with the vertical direction. Don't change its direction when you are applying. Cover the board with even coat. Now clear the edges with your finger. Let it dry before giving the second coat. Now first coat we gave it in the vertical direction. Now the second one we are going to apply in the horizontal direction. If there is any dirt or lumps, remove it with your brush. Don't leave it. Same way we have to cover the board evenly. Each and every time we have to change the direction for the coat. We have to give 4 more coats like this. Or you can even give 6 or 8 coats for your board. And don't forget to clean the edges. I have given 6 coats and my board is dried now. Let's move on to the next step. Now we are going to smoothen the board. I am using the immersion sheet, the sandpaper, 150 and 180. 180 is smooth, 150 is little rough. I am using 150 and going to do it in the circular motion. See the grains, it's up and down on the board. So now let's do it. Moving the hand in the circular motion and giving it a smooth finish. The whole board has to be given a nice smooth finish and it should be evenly done. So you have to use the circular motion. Now I have done one full round of sanding the board and I am checking whether it has been done properly and the top of the board is smooth and the rest of the board is still as the grain. So I have to do the rest also the same way. The sanded again and I completed the board. Now the board is very smooth and now take a cloth and clean the board, remove the dust. Now the board is ready for the next step. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel for more updates.